Classic Game Shrine. This morning I woke up to this awesome package in the mail. It is an arcade block. Me and my husband subscribed to it recently after seeing it on one of a fellow YouTuber's videos. And being the nerds that we are, we figured this would be better for us than Loot Crate. Um, so I'm pretty stoked about this. I got my French Toast Crunch ready, my bowl, I got my Kool-Aid squeezers, and I'm feeling pretty nostalgic. Let's open this bitch up. First things first, I have to comment about the Konami Code tape. I love it. I want it for myself. I wish I can do it for my own packages. Sorry, Mugen, I'm recording. We can cuddle later. Now let's get to it. Are oh, you just gonna nap? Okay, that's cool. Now, I don't know if you guys saw, I did a pretty poor job. I didn't even look inside yet, so don't worry, it's still a surprise. The entire box, front, back, sides, top, bottom, it's an NES. I mean, you've seen them in my videos before. Uh, this is a lot better than the ones I've seen on other crate subscriptions. And yeah, I'm excited, let's open it. Now when you open it, it's all black inside, has uh, their Twitter hashtag and I believe their Instagram one, which is also located on the sides of the box. Now, first things first, you open it up to, oh my gosh, probably the cutest things ever. It is the Pac-Man Ghost Salt and Pepper Shakers. I love baking and cooking, so this is gonna go great. My husband doesn't know it yet, but my entire house is going to be taken over in a video game theme, whether he likes it or not. These are really nice quality. They're, uh, feels like porcelain. On the top, there's a P for pepper, and I'd imagine on this one, there is an S for salt. Yes, there is. Not sure if you can see it there, but, uh, these are adorable and they're going in my kitchen right away. back in the box. Oh, my dog is interested in the arcade box too. Okay, making a mess already. This looks like a Skylanders figure. I personally don't collect these, but I know plenty of people that do. Um, the packaging is opened, I'd imagine, just to make it easier to ship. And where did I lose the other piece? There it is. I'd imagine it's to make it easier to ship because the cardboard backing isn't on it. But other than that, the entire uh, figure is there. This is Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. I know nothing about these figures. Apparently this one is Igniter. I'll probably uh, toss it on the shelf somewhere or something. <laughs> See, here's a sure. Awesome. It looks like a, I want to say Kingdom Hearts character, which is pretty awesome. I haven't played the game fully, but I have done a little bit. I like it. Video game shirts are always a bonus to me. Oh, here's the backing of the Skylanders card. Oh, okay. Never mind. Perfect. <clears throat> I feel like a total goober because I can't get this in right. There we go. This is an adorable little treasure chest keychain. Not sure if you can see, it's a pixelated one. It's really cute and it's gonna go on my keychain right now. I'll hopefully have an NES one to go with it soon. Oh, that's cute. On the back, it has the uh, the Nerd Block logo, the little sunglasses Mario-esque dude with the press the A button. And on the front is the treasure chest. Now if you can't see these well in the video, I will try and take a shot of everything all in one shot so you can 
see it at the end. I believe these are just instructions to activate your Skylander. <clears throat> Video Games Live, Arcade Block Edition, Level 4. Oh cool, this seems like it's a bunch of video game music and remixes. Nice little collector's piece here. It's got songs from like Earthworm Jim, Wow, uh, those are just, oh, Assassin's Creed, Cave Story, that's a good one, Metal Gear, it's pretty awesome tunes on this. <clears throat> um, let's see, this is just trash. And it seems like we have a retro comic book. Oh my goodness, it feels like I just opened the pages to Nintendo Power. How retro feeling. Oh, this is lovely. Um, I quickly just skimmed through it now, as you guys just saw, but basically it just has really stuff, really awesome stuff, like articles about, you know, older games, high, you know, top tens, top fives, stuff about Neo Geo cabinets, articles with, you know, some of the people that made these games. Pretty cool. I will definitely be giving this a read later. This is the back of it. As you can see, another RP block exclusive. <clears throat> um, and this is going to be their little cards, their inserts. These are really cute. And, uh, like oh, they would like feedback. <laughs> the cheat code I want to use in real life. Fill out this card, snap a picture, tagged with Arcade Block Talk for a chance to win a Retron 5. Oh, that's really cute! I like this. Um, I personally can't comment about experience with Loot Crate, I haven't had one, but uh, based on my friends that have received them, they've been getting pretty lackluster lately, which is why my husband and I chose to ch the uh, Arcade Block subscription, and I have to say, for a first time, this is pretty awesome. I mean. Everything in here, pretty much, I will use, except the Skylanders figure, because I don't really know it, but everything else is going to get great use. And from other Loot Crate unboxing videos, there was maybe one or two things that would go in there that I'd like. And none of the boxes ever seemed worthy of what you would pay for monthly. This actually feels like you get a lot that is uh, worth using. I would definitely recommend subscribing to Arcade Block or Nerd Block. Uh, it's the same subscription company. There's def uh, different boxes you can subscribe to and find out which one fits you better. So thumbs up, subscribe, like, whatever it is that you want to do. Tell your friends about Arcade Block. Give them a shout. Subscribe yourself. And uh, stay tuned for the next video, guys.